Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Thermo Pro Ultra Fast Digital Food Thermometer, and we've got it all coming up right now. This thermometer from ThermoPro is the TP15H digital thermometer. And if you look at this, it says ultra fast digital thermometer. And that's what we're gonna to put to the test today is how fast is this thermometer and how accurate is it? So we're gonna go ahead and get this unboxed and show you what comes inside and put it to the test. All right, inside the box we have the TP15H thermometer. We have a screwdriver and it comes with a battery, as well as the instructions and some information about the warranty. So we'll go ahead and set these aside. This is for later, but for now, let's go ahead and get this thing put together. All right, we have the ThermoPro Ultra Fast Digital Food Thermometer put together, and it was as easy as taking the screw out of the back, putting the battery in, and closing it up. Now, this does use a AAA battery, which is included in the package, and a screwdriver that actually allows you to take the screw in and out, which is a nice addition. Um, the, the unit is simple in the fact that you have a power button on the bottom that also functions as a Celsius and Fahrenheit switch. Above that, you have a lock and a calibration button, and above that, you have the backlight button. Now, it's, to turn it on, it's as easy as pressing the power button once, and you'll see that it starts to fire to life. As it comes to life, there is an orange backlight, and that orange backlight makes it so it's quite easy to see, matches the color of the unit, which is nice, but if I'm outside and I'm using a thermometer, I've got to be able to see what that, what that temperature looks like. And if it goes off, I press the light button, it comes back on. So I have the ability to turn the backlight off and on, which is nice. Now, this has this power button, and with the power button, once you hit the power button, it is on, and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Now, the backlight will turn off rather quickly, but um, turning it off is as easy as clicking the power button once, and it goes right off. If you hold down the power button, which is the Celsius and Fahrenheit switch, that will actually switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit with a good three or four second hold. Now, I could show you all the buttons on this thing, and I can show you how it actually lights up and things like that, but who cares about how it lights up and things, right? You wanna see how it works. So, the best thing I can think of to do is let's put this to work, and let's test it in a bath of ice, and let's test it in some meat during a cook, and show you how this thing performs. All right, we're out here in the outdoor kitchen, and it's not quite finished yet, but we have the ability to use some things out here. So, I uh, wanna show you what this thermometer does when you actually go from boiling water and then into freezing ice cold water. Now we know that boiling water you should see a temperature of 212 degrees and freezing cold water you should see right around 32 degrees. And so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on, hit the power button. And now that we have it on, we're gonna go ahead and put it in and we're gonna see how long it takes to go from the 62 degrees that it is right now, 60 degrees, all the way up to 212. So one of the things that you'll recognize is that we actually never saw 212 on this. And that's interesting because this thermometer says that it's accurate to a little over a degree or two. Um, so we're maybe, we may not ever see 212 on this, but that's the uh, boiling water test. Let's go ahead and look at the frozen water test. Same thing, let's see how long it takes to read 32. So what you can see is we actually never did see 32 either on this. So when it's accurate within a couple degrees, I mean, if that's what you want, this is the thermometer that maybe you're interested in. So maybe it's not that big of a deal being off by one or two degrees on both the high and the low, but uh, it's something you ought to know when you get into this. Now, the price is definitely a factor. You wanna consider how much this costs in comparison to a lot of the other thermometers out there but you are sacrificing a little bit of accuracy in comparison to some of the more expensive units that are on the market. All right, we have some chicken lollipops here on the grill and we're gonna check the temperature using the ThermoPro TP15H. We haven't sauced them or anything yet. We're just trying to get the internal temperature as to how they're going along. Looks like we're sitting right around 134, 135. 
and it says that one's already 150, 149. So notice this doesn't have that auto rotating dial. So depending on how you put it in, it might be upside down or right side up. But using this to temp chicken, see if I put it up here, 9188, it's reading kind of the air temperature. If I go down, get it into the lollipop. Relatively quick to read. They were about 128 or so, 127. But yeah, so I mean, not too slow. But I gotta admit, this grill is hot and my hand is hot um, because it's not just a super quick in and out to get your temperature. It takes it a couple seconds. So if you're looking at this thermometer that like 15 to $20 price range, um, you can expect that it's not gonna be immediate and it'll take a little bit more time, all right? All right, so that's our review of the Thermopro Ultra Fast Digital Thermometer. If you're interested in this unit, go ahead and check the links in the description below where you can find places that you can purchase this and find out current pricing on the model. I want to say thank you for joining us today. And if you like outdoor cooking and you're into outdoor living, why don't you subscribe to the channel? We're constantly putting out new videos and reviews on the best in outdoor living and the best in outdoor cooking. And we'd love for you to be able to buy the best and forget the rest. Because who wants to waste money on things that just don't work, right? So that's why we're here and that's why we exist. And we'd love to have you around for the next video and every video after that. I'm David Gafford from the Barbecue Lab and I wanna say thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.